what's up everybody this is julian montgomery and uh, i'm going to talk to you today about spotting to film in cubase uh, so i'm a new cubase user i was using pro tools uh, 12 hd and i'm trying to figure out if i want to switch to cubase uh, so uh, here's the scenario uh, you want to find some spots in your video to hit uh, so you want a downbeat to land on those sync points um, and so uh, I'm gonna demonstrate that uh, using a clip from a public domain movie called Return of the Kung Fu Dragon. So uh, let's get right to it. So the, the, the first thing that, that, that you wanna do is you wanna make sure your tempo track is activated because you're gonna be changing tempos. Uh, and then you wanna make sure that you mark the beginning of the clip. Uh, so um, let me, Put a point there make sure that that snaps to my start and then I'm just gonna find a tempo here I'll just go with 144 all right so then you're gonna scrub the video um, you know and find your sync points maybe maybe you already know what those sync points are you did a spotting session with a director or you know you have to kind of go through and find them yourself whatever the case might be um, those sync points you want to mark so I'm just gonna kind of arbitrarily go through here and find some points that I want to hit. I'll grab this one when uh, when he hits the guy. Uh, I insert a marker there. All right, and let's just keep going through here, uh, and I'll mark that one there, just as he leaps. All right, we'll just mark that, and then let's find one more. Just, just as he kicks him there. All right, we'll mark that. All right, so now um, we're gonna turn on the time warp tool. So that's this tool right here. Sorry. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna turn, we're gonna make sure snap is on and we're gonna snap to events. All right, so then what you wanna do is you wanna take, uh, you can drag these measures and drag them to your markers. So we'll drag that there. We'll drag five, land right there. And we'll drag seven there. So now I have uh, down uh, points at which, you know, there's gonna be a downbeat on specific points in the video. Um, and you'll notice as I did that, Cubase changed the tempo. So um, what I could have done is, uh, you notice in the case that when I went from left to right, so I'm dragging measure seven over to this point, it, uh, it has to slow it down in order to go from this marker to this marker. Um, if I would have dragged uh, measure eight this way, then it would have had to speed the tempo up in order to get from you know, point in order to get from marker two to marker three. So, um, you know, you can make decisions as to kind of how you want to uh, move these measures and kind of get in the range of the tempo that you think makes sense for, you know, for your video. Um, so, you know, I'll just pull up here the, the tempo map real quick. zoom in on this a little bit so you can just kind of see what it did with the tempo and all of these points are points that I've decided I need to make sure that I hit those points and uh, you know be able to start on a on a downbeat um, one of the things uh, to know is uh, this time warp tool is only available to pro users so if you're not using Cubase Pro uh, you don't have access to this tool so that's all I wanted to show you. Um, you know, hopefully somebody finds it helpful. Uh, again, I'm Julian Montgomery. Uh, I'll put my my uh, website in the video in case you want to check me out. Um, and there you have it.